222. Ooh. Lucky number. Make a wish. I just did a thousand dollar poll on kick. Oh, let's go. My wish for Michael just came true that he would do a ten thousand dollar poll on kick. There's only a thousand. I'm not okay, made of okay. money. Oh, but I'm sorry. My wish is that kick gets pulled entirely. <laughs> it will one day. Everybody who genuinely thinks that it's a legitimate business that doesn't really know the backstory of it, but they're like, oh, a fucking ad free site, and I don't have any followers anyway. Why don't I start here? Blah, blah, blah. They're going to go to stream one day, and that it's just not going to be there. Yeah, of course. It's like when ISPs offer you the introductory rate. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> damn, this is fucking sick. When it like, or uh, cell phone companies, mm -hmm. yeah. whatever they got to do to get you in the door. And then a year from now, it's like, why did it go up? What the fuck? It's the same thing with like DoorDash and Uber and mm -hmm. all yeah. these businesses that were running off of um, that angel investor money. Yeah, angel investor money. So they didn't have to be profitable. And then eventually they are going to crank it up. Angel investor is so rich. On him. <laughs> Angel, Angel, investor, Angel, investor, Angel, investor, richest man in Mexico. <laughs> yeah, uh, he, he just loves giving money to these companies. That's what ANCAP is short for, Angel Capitalist. <laughs> oh my God, yeah. Angel. That. That's what Javier Malay taught me. That's crazy. Yeah, like, oh, I like ANCOM though. I always, anytime I see like a streamer Angel communist or <laughs> he's really cool esports teams and they have like the kick logo i just it just makes me roll my eyes and just like not want to like look at them if anymore they give you money yeah i don't blame them for taking the money i for, would take the money but it is a fake yeah, there's business worse places to take money from an esports uh yeah like saudi arabia <laughs> Raid <of> shadow legends <laughs> <laughs> hold on <laughs> actually no i i still i actually think it's bds to take money from Raid shadow legends because you're t taking money technically away from israel yeah well it's our mm -hmm. own money yeah, honestly, they should be doing nothing but giving us money. Yeah. I just won't, I won't defend Israel in, uh, in exchange for it. Yeah. But if they want to just write me a check, like, I would like that money back. Yeah, plus mm -hmm. when, right when the sponsor's over, I hop on my alt screen and I'm like, that fucking shit is so boring. That game is so gay. <laughs> I hated every second of it. It doesn't look good. The graphics yep. suck. <laughs> it's not the best game ever and I won't download it. <laughs> I genuinely think that if you play mobile games, you're mentally handicapped. <laughs> title of my title whoa, of my whoa, that's whoa, something whoa, that children whoa, do. Whoa, that's whoa. something that peanut butter handed get, children whoa, do. Whoa, whoa, I get whoa, paid whoa. Get, getting paid cool, for it, and then going cool on YouTube games. and being like making a video that gets like nine million views. It's like this this fucking game sucks. Ray Shadow Legends is garbage. In this game, you don't get to fuck. Everyone's like, no, nah, fuck. <laughs> Asmongold's Gold's like the, the ad said you could fuck, and if you can't fuck, then I don't know what we're doing here, people. <laughs> I think every game should advertise like that. This game will not make you come. And in, in this game, you can't fuck. Because that's what I want from a game. I don't want to come. I don't want to fuck. Speaking of not coming and gaming, can we, uh, can we do a little Melanie Mac update first starting with, uh, or Melanie Mac, I don't care about her, but her Orbiter update, starting with uh, AR-15, who we've noticed has not posted a gym progress pic since like April something. Yeah, he gave up I've on noticed that. And that. every day think... he'll tweet. Time to put the controller down. I got to get up for work in three hours or something. He is so <laughs> fucking controller. We don't know what he's playing, but he is so addicted to some game that you can tell it's completely replaced porn. Uh, his obsession with his CDL and even in a way, Melanie Mac, because he can't That's stop good. gaming. But he also definitely stopped going to the gym because he'll also do the fucking it starts tomorrow shit at like four in the morning where he's like. Back to progress picks and hit the gym tomorrow. And then the next night at like 3.30 in the morning the next day. Time to put the controller down. I got work in the morning. See, someone, someone perfectly programmed one of those gotcha games to take advantage of whatever dopamine imbalance he has in his brain. Whatever button he's trying to press that's like porn, food, porn, <laughs> yeah. uh, tip, uh, social media, porn, what the fuck. Just that button he's pressing in his brain over and over again. They made it. They made that button on his phone, and it gives them money. It's like when the bonobos get so good at the memory game, it's just instant. <laughs> yeah, I truly wonder what game he's playing that like would enrapture him. So it's gotta be one he's spending. I mean, Alex might be right. What if it's a uh, like what? What's that one? Like Honkai, Honkai Star Rail. Maybe it's that. It's gotta be something that gives you a boner, and also you have to give them money to play. It. Yeah, Raid Shadow Legends. <laughs> I don't think he's. Yeah, playing I mean, Raid. maybe that gives you a boner. Uh, I mean, no, no shame if that gives you a boner. There's no way it's any cool game, though. No, it's not a cool game. It's. I wonder if it's like he's going through like the old Tomb Raiders. Like he got a lingle. No, he wouldn't want to play those. I know, yeah. but 
I don't know. Maybe if they were the later ones, like the remakes. But he, those are too woke, and she's she has smaller boobs in those, so he hates okay, well, those. Well, think about what he's actually doing. Yeah, like, is I he, mean, he is just... not a guy that wants to sit down and be fucking frustrated as shit. Yeah, that's true. Playing through Tomb Raider. Oh, he like, would, he, his TV would have gunshots in it. <laughs> yeah, he, he would last about two minutes into that game and be like, I want to just go jack off. Like, yeah, he doesn't actually want to play. He'd last two minutes, and then he'd bust. I've never played Honkai. That would make sense like... if he was just doing, like, opening pack openings on Honkai all day, because it mixes... I mean, he has the perfect brain to become a gambling addict, and also it's boobies. But I've never played Honkai, but, like, is I think it's made by the people who made Genshin. And Genshin Impact, like, is not an easy game because you have to, like, pay to win in that. And, like, it's kind of Breath of the Wild-esque, like, battle system. Right. Yeah. But with the creativity taken out, the sense of wonder, and it's just replaced with monetization. Yeah, it's just uh, with a bunch of anime characters you have to spend money on. But, like, he would die in that. He would get frustrated at that as well. So I, he's got to be playing, like, the Muppets game for the regular nintendo <laughs> that like he's yeah. like doing the alphabet and she's like oh i love this i'm so good at this i keep getting that would stars. be awesome yeah because he's a guy who has zero attention span mm-hmm. and uh, he needs reward immediately he can ha- he can't have delayed gratification at all it's got to be immediate so it's got to be a gotcha game i bet mock tech is also addicted to pc games but it's like this windows me machine and he opens up spider solitaire and clicks a bunch of cards until he none of them are clickable anymore because he <laughs> fucked it up he won. And then he just, yeah, he closes it. That's like seven-year-old me playing. <laughs> just click. What can I click? Let me click that. It's been over a year since we found out about the Melanie Mac reply guys. Yeah. It's been over a year. It's it's kind of amazing to catalog it and think it's about been two how. two years, isn't it? Like Stephen TV, he kind of gave up. Yeah, have you heard well, of they've, they've been at it for a while, but I think since we've been talking about it on the podcast, uh, Stephen TV, yeah, he he gave up. No, but do you know where he is now? He's attached himself to multiple very low subscriber uh, Disney adult women. Yeah. Because they're like mod and stuff. And he's also making, and he's making YouTubes again about Disney stuff. Yeah. He's, he found his new targets. No, it's been two years since I got um, the, uh, the block list put on me. Damn. And I know oh, that. I know really? that because when I, two years ago, like beginning of last uh, 2023, I changed my name to Nate Ruth Music and started tweeting him as I was Nate Roos, and then he was replying to me when I was saying that Nate Roos got his winky bit off by a dog. <laughs> That's and true. Then I, yeah, it's also true. And I think I was also his talking fans about all believe that. The, um, the Nance, and where Nate got fucked by the Ant Queen, and then he fucked her, and then gave birth to a bunch of ants with Nate's face. They all think that's real in Portuguese. That was That was two years ago, and... So I got the block on that one. <laughs> Poor guy. Yeah. But I, I was just looking at like a, a screenshot I had from exactly a year ago. Mm-hmm. But it's funny how, yeah, Steven TV, he's gone. And then uh, Extreme Nerd Pat, we all know what happened with him. He got ethered. <laughs> he got jumped out of there. But uh, AR-15 and MockTech, they're still replying to her with no follow back, nothing bad. Like it's, I don't know what could knock those guys out of that circle. One of my favorite things about that group that I don't think we acknowledge enough, also some of it's new, is, but they have that, uh, and it's not something I ever look at, I just see it in our Discord, but they have that prayer request channel, mm-hmm. and at least twice a week, a new person in there is asking for God's help in helping him get rid of some bug. There's like <laughs> some, some sort of bug infestation in all of their houses. That's a surprise. Yeah, it's like, they're tr- what they're trying to come to psychologically is that they have some sort of mental illness that's keeping them from tackling their hoarder problem. Mm-hmm. And the way they talk about that is they say it's God. Mm-hmm. They say it's some sort of like demon. Like what God has to make something happen to get the bugs out of my house. What they're trying to explain is that they're neurodivergent and they have executive functioning issues. I think what they're trying to come to is Melanie Mack. Oh, that's well, they're trying they to come that. to her as well. They do that. But I think back to the point of like scaring away like AR-15 – what it hasn't like been overtly like as creepy towards Melanie that she would want to like drive him away as much. And he also like don't he used to donate like twenty dollars on every video until he ran out of whatever money yeah. that he got. Yeah. He just replies with like a smiley face and says something nice, which is like, yeah, you can stay that way forever, like until you get disinterested. But I, I guess. think I Broke think if Melanie if Melanie started like actively kind of berating him and like yelling at him did that more than like three times. Cause she did check him one time and he like freaked the fuck out. 
Yeah, but he immediately fucking he would groveled. Leave. He would leave the fandom, but mock tech, as we've seen many, many times, a mock tech, well, it doesn't change its target until that target's down. He's yep. like a Terminator. Yeah, he'll just perceive it as like... uh Something came in the uh, came between us. Yeah, like there was some sort of interloper that made her not understand who I truly am. There must have been something, something. some sort of hacker or troll, or it, it can't be that she doesn't like me. Yeah. While he's stomping uh, away through the woods, carrying the woman by her throat. Why are those police officers <laughs> shooting at me? <laughs> they got the wrong idea. I'm a really nice guy. I just like but that yeah, like he's a cryptid. The T bear. I just oh, he need her to see my good cryptid. side. It's fun to talk about seeing a mock tech in the yeah. woods. <laughs> the T bear. The T. What would he even be? The T bear uh, land walrus. <laughs> the T bear bear. The T bear T bear. Well, because there's old tech, there's mom tech, and there's mock tech. Because his his dad is like the pictures of his dad. He's like just white beard. <laughs> like he looks 150. No, his years dad old. doesn't have a beard. Does it? Oh, then who's the old guy? His dad looks like old me. Oh, okay. It's weird. Like, he looks like my grandpa. That's probably actually exactly why he has to wear that orange shirt all the time. This fucking hunter safety orange so he doesn't get <laughs> shot. It's a big animal year. A lot of animals going around. <laughs> I've seen, like, four bears this year. I've seen a family of raccoons. I saw a possum last night. Wow. Quit bragging. I think there are just more acorns on the ground than ever before. Quit bragging, college country boy. College boy. <laughs> College boy, co yeah, the college towns out here. College and country boy, yeah. <laughs> uh, UMass country, college country boys. Yeah, uh, I saw a dead owl yesterday. Oh, <laughs> you know, oh that's an town. omen. Yeah, it's not well, good. Who killed it? I don't know. Maybe God. Shit. It, it probably could have told you if it was still alive because they're so wise. Mm -hmm. But Ooh. unfortunately, they got to it. Was a, that was not one of the wise ones. Because, uh, yeah, you wouldn't be dead. I guess it's survivor bias. Yeah, it was actually one of the invasive ones. <laughs> Getting into that again. <laughs> Saying everything you kill is invasive. <laughs> the invasive owls. <laughs> Did you guys know the bald eagle is actually invasive, so you're supposed to kill them well, on sight? If it flies around me, it is. <laughs> if you see a bald eagle, you're supposed to just, you know, buckshot, birdshot, whatever you got, mm -hmm. 22. Anything within a 200-foot radius of me is invasive. I'm allowed to fire upon yeah, it. Yeah, castle doctrine for any animal. <laughs> Your dog? Nope, I'm allowed. I think Africanized bees would actually be cool with me. They wouldn't fuck me up. <laughs> yeah, that's. I like them because I don't want to be racist, so <laughs> I would not unleash my buckshot into Africanized bees if they came into my yard like I would with an owl, like any owl, mm -hmm. for example. But you fire a warning shot. That sounds like an essay that'd be on like 2014 Twitter, um, from like a medium article. Oh, I mean, it is fucked up to call them Africanized. It basically means bad. But <laughs> it, it wasn't it like African killer bees? Yeah, the killer like the killer bees. Yeah. Killer, the, yeah, killer anything, man. It's hard to name that as a scientist because you know the news is going to take whatever angle they can on it, and then the average person is going to be like Africanized. Oh, they're from Africa. Uh -oh. What are they? What are they? They. Uh, they're probably stealing and looting. They're probably looting. When the looting starts, the shooting starts. It worked on my ass as a little kid. I was like, oh, sh how do you... I'm never going to Africa. That sounds so scary. They've got more extreme bees there. Mm -hmm. Maybe you just have to say they're from somewhere else. When it comes to naming conventions, just be like most science nerds and be either you name stuff after you when you discover it or uh, you name it after like really Reddit shit. Which is Yeah, that would uh, be the move. If you were a really evil guy, if you found Africanized bees and you just named them after yourself. <laughs> but there are some goats out there, like whoever named uh, Coming Tonight. It looks like it says Coming Tonight. It's a type of gem. <laughs> yeah. That guy got so much pussy. He came that night for sure. Schist. That's always a great one. I would say Schist yeah. is shit before I was allowed to cuss. <laughs> it was probably a German guy. <clears throat> there's a mite or something named after Gary Larson who drew the far side. I remember there's this one of the books he wrote about how these scientists wrote him up and they're like, wait, hey, we just discovered this new disgusting bug. So sorry if this sounds offensive, but can we name it after you? And he's like, hell yeah. I love stories like that. It's so cool. I hope it looked exactly like a far side character. <laughs> like it was perfectly round and fat. I guess that's what mites look like. Mites kind of look like far side characters they might. under they, a microscope. You no, know, here's the thing. They might, but I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I don't have a microscope. Uh, Ooh. Yeah, same time. I, I don't have a microscope. I don't have a microscope. <laughs> microscope. 
Yep. You need a microscope. We got it all here. To see those mites. Uh, Pretty good. Not too bad. So, so uh, Rihanna Wu's in the new. Just kidding. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> People are still toying around with her. She's like a chewed up old dog toy. People are still <laughs> she is. throwing her around the yard. Like, just. You, you're not bored with that yet? She went on that fucking epic podcast where she's like Tran- trans people are the real assholes now and the every the entire replies for, of like 500 blue check marks are people being like yup that's a dude <laughs> like there's your allies Brianna have fun yeah who is that the Jesse Singal podcast or is it a different, different one? one they all have a name that's like the triggered anti-cancel culture podcast and that shit is all like this one's triggernometry which sounds like a fucking oh, joke oh, like a, it sounds like a yeah, bad it's like that shit only really made sense in 2020 when uh, when the SJW sort of were taken over for a couple months and we're getting people fired for shit. But now it's like, who's talking about trigger warnings? Who's talking about canceling anyone? Who's talking about getting anyone fired for racism? Like, we're, we're like three years removed from getting someone fired for being racist, being like a thing you can do. Right-wingers that are right-wing because, like, they don't like anyone trying to tell them to, like think that gay people are okay so their pushback is like no nah, dude they're, they're not actually like they don't think critically about anything those are the people that are still like fuck cancel culture and it's like you are the only mm-hmm. person still saying that shut up just yeah. like a bunch of boomers talking about like woke and you're just like what do you what do you mean what the fuck are you talking what does this have to do with anything nick shut up nick Merck's back in that doing that shit this week where he oh yeah he said Trans people aren't real. And he's like, let me lay it down for you. Penis equals male. Vagina equals female. Don't come in here with that. I'm trans shit. And I'm like, I'm just thinking like, he's such a dumb fuck Oakland well, County, they can Michigan. Well, turn the penis into a vagina. So. He's a dumb fuck Oakland County, Michigan Republican. Just repeating what his parents say. West Bloomfield dipshit. Mm-hmm. Never, uh, he's never to navigate any sort of thought about gay stuff or trans stuff ever in his life. And now that he has... His immediate like reaction to it is to never think any sort of critic about it. Just be like, "Fuck, fucking weird." No, I don't fuck with that because he's a fucking ADIQ cod dumb fuck. Yeah, their only idea of trans people forever is like they're they're fucking weird and they're perverts and they try to get you fired. And like, if they just had like a, a trans friend, like have like a, a two minute conversation with them, they would probably be fine with them forever. Like a dumb guy like that. Yeah, they're so it's so fucking ignorant. If you just left the house and stopped talking to like the same like seven guys who look exactly like him and speak exactly like him. Yeah. Just like meet one other person outside of your like council. Like, you know, please. trans people are on the computer and they're on games as much as you are. They're playing with you all the time. <laughs> I'll never forget that he had his fucking the the M Fam barbecue the, the fucking oh anti vax TwitchCon where you can fucking go there morons. instead of TwitchCon it was the same day as like the Saturday of TwitchCon that year mm-hmm. and it was just it was at that fucking football like the uh, high school football stadium I think outside of Tampa and it was like 104 degrees with 89 percent humidity and everyone there was just fucking literally dripping wet with sweat like everyone's clothes were soaked and then the only people standing in this long mile long line to meet him. This fucking fat, overheated eight year old gamers and drunk cops that were all fucking sunburned <laughs> to shit and like passing out. That would, I love that because, yeah, they had the mile long line. <laughs> nothing in between. That that. And just, there was nothing to do. Fuck. That's another so thing cool. where people are still riding that high. They're chasing that high from uh. three years ago when they could be like radical culture rebels because it was like a little bit ridiculous to require like a 22 year old to have a vaccine to get into a concert mm-hmm. yeah like we're not we're those aren't the people we're worried about those people weren't in danger for covid i think we can say mm-hmm. yeah but I, it's that shit is like it's it's so many years ago that like they're still talking about anti-vax shit and still trying to ride that like there's a no one there's even a... cares about that anymore I think there's like a bill in North Carolina that they're trying to make like wearing masks illegal. <laughs> you, guys, like, you guys are I'm such rebels. rebels. <laughs> like, what? Who are you fighting? The mask. Fuck that. that all the Devin type guy. Well, Devin's real, but you know, mask. Oh, they guys improved it. Be, yeah. Fuck. Mask guys are gonna be fucking. Yeah, because dude, that's the stupidest thing. We gotta get more mask guys to. To just keep those people busy, like, like get whatever. There's probably a, a surplus of those people in, like, Portland. Mm-hmm. 
the people who are like, we have to shut every bar down forever. Uh, if we could just get them and put them in North Carolina and have them fight each other. Alex is right, though, about uh, how they're chasing that high of like being a fucking like, yeah, I don't comply. I don't comply. Yeah. Because now, mm -hmm. once last week when the, the first couple bird flu deaths in America happened, they were replying to like the fucking breaking news bot that posts the fucking headline. And they were like posting their graphics and shit like, we do not comply this time. And it's like, okay, well, this one is a very well-known disease and that's 52% death rate with humans. <laughs> we have a fucking crazy. water main broken in Calgary right now. And if we don't conserve water, we're going to fucking run out of water. You're going to go woke. Yeah, they, they don't know like how long it's going to take to to fix the water main. Mm -hmm. And that's the response is like, oh, they're trying to, this is more woke bullshit. I was like, no, <laughs> we we're, we're out of water. <laughs> Meanwhile, I saw, I saw some trans kid who was just chugging the stuff, <laughs> just bottle after bottle of, ta of beautiful, sweet tasting tap water, <laughs> just pissing everywhere. And you know, they piss more, they piss more because of the hormones. <laughs> mm. But I love those guys because all of those guys, it's like the same time, like the guys in California, when there's like a water shortage. And they're all getting mad about it and then like watering all of their plants in their yards and like their avocado. Yeah, yeah trees I was laughing at like, last year how they were <laughs> like getting in yeah, trouble. Yeah, because everybody else is probably using all their water. So like why should I why should I get it's like the, the tragedy of the commons. I was laughing last year when there's the, there's this one OSIN guy that I love. He's helped with cool stuff. I forget his name, but he lives in California. But yeah, OSINT, that's what they should be using for the fucking water, man. Just get it in from the OSINT. <laughs> <laughs> He's the guy that helped find that uh, lost hiker by looking at, like, live satellite shit. It was crazy. Um, found, found some lady that, like, fell down a cliff while hiking, like, just from satellite, mm. like, from his house. I think he only goes by his, like, amateur uh, radio license. I don't think he talks about his real name. But he was getting a bunch of people ticketed because he was finding who had the greenest lawns in the fucking problem areas. <laughs> <laughs> and call on their fucking the the local office to go out and ticket them. It's so Good. funny because those guys are just pieces like watering your lawn. Yeah, if you're watering your so, lawn so during it, stupid. like who cares? Just make your yard a desert. It looks cooler anyway. Who wants to look at a fucking green ass lawn in L.A.? Everything else is brown. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Like I am, I'm more lawn positive mm -hmm. than I think a lot of leftists are. Like yeah. I think it's so it's okay to have a lawn. It's okay to mow your lawn, and it's like. You, you shouldn't go to a, a huge amount of effort and spray pesticides everywhere, but it's like, it's okay to have a, a, a half acre lawn. I think you should have like natural grass that grow. Like you shouldn't yeah. just be putting the like, natural Kentucky type of grass breath. that grows yeah, without exactly. too much effort. And it's cool. And it's nice to have a garden. It's nice to have all that stuff. But like, you don't need to be watering your fucking lawn. Yeah. I don't water it shouldn't my lawn. It be like a full-time job keeping it growing. And it's so much of it is fucking keeping up with the Joneses shit. Yeah, competing with your the idea that's what we're supposed to do. And people just hire somebody. Everybody hires some. They hire a firm to do their lawn, and so you're trying to keep up with that. Yeah, what if you had the same guys and it just looks, looks identical? You know. Yeah, you clean up as those guys, all those Honduran guys. Pay them to just, do worse. They're banking on that. <laughs> hey, go over, go over hey, those guys. Yeah, fuck it up this time. Oh, that's what you do. You, you slit them like a 20 and say, hey, can you just accidentally put the pesticide all over their lawn? <laughs> like the herbicide? You would dump this 50-pound bag of road salt over there on that lawn? Yeah. <laughs> can you salt the earth so nothing ever grows again? What you do is you got to train your dog to pee in their yard like in one specific spot. <laughs> so it just like kills the grass. I just think just like a yellow spot. People that, uh, people that turn their lawn into like the, the desert type shit, the brushy shit, it looks so much cooler. Yeah, if you're in the desert, you got to do some cacti. You guys know when, like, politicians will squeeze stupid shit onto bills to get it passed, like, kind of silently? Like, they'll yeah. squeeze, they'll package shit together. I feel like mm -hmm. that's what the fucking, the leftists that talk about lawns and, especially, and, like, golf courses, too, all the time. I feel like those people are, uh, but especially the lawn people are doing that but it's for I, I hate doing yard work oh i get so sweaty <laughs> yeah it's my, nose, a bit. my nose gets runny i'm allergic like <laughs> yeah it's hard to get that out of your brain when you're thinking about like rich people and stuff like mm -hmm. your, your dad's friends or your your uncle yeah and his like your uncle who goes to the country club or something like that and you're thinking about that and then uh People are like, why are, you, why are you talking about lawns and golf courses? Like someone who grew up in the city and they like, 
they've never been to a golf course. They're like, why are you so mad about fucking grass, dude? Yeah. There's such a, there's such a sweet spot too, though, in my opinion, just remembering back to being a kid. If a lawn was too nice, no fucking way I want to do anything on it. Like if I put a divot in my grandpa's lawn, he would have like had to go stand up in his bedroom and like breathe for 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Yeah. A nice lawn is like, it looks semi nice. And then you can also play in it as a kid. It's for having fun. Yeah, that's all it is. You should just be it's having for a rough fun on kicking a ball around. Like, like it gets messed up. Yeah. Nate grandma there on Sunday who was wanting to put uh-huh. pesticides down because he had like clovers in his yard. Uh, fuck, I hate him so much. <laughs> yeah, it's that he's me so off. fucking annoying. Clovers feel that... so good to walk on, man. People should grow those like those... they're natural. Yeah, it's one of the best plants. It's a uh, it it's nitrogen fixing, mm-hmm. so it it improves the fertility of the soil for other plants. And cows like to eat it. It's good food well, for cows. Not him. <laughs> <laughs> he would complain that, that it attracts bumblebees. I just, I, I've said it so many times. I just hate him. I hate his lawn. I hate the, how he spent. I hate his uh, lawn he, cock. He, <laughs> I like that. Actually, I gotta admit, I got, I do like that with all the piercings. <laughs> but like, he started mulching his his cock. yard before <laughs> I left for Japan, and then when I came back, he's still not done. <laughs> Yeah, he's just, he's bought like a hundred bags of pure black dyed mulch and then put that over the, the fabric just to make sure not one plant can get through. Well, he also put a new, he puts a, down a new layer of weed paper every single yeah. year. Just but as like a why? nice landmine for the next person who buys that house. That, that pisses me off because like someone is going to buy that house and like dig it up and be like, oh, okay, cool. Like we're just going to dig up this weed paper and then you like have to dig up the next one then you keep fucking finding weed paper yeah, you're like 20 feet down you're still <laughs> finding depending it. on how old it is too digging up weed paper from a, a decent sized flower bed will easily add like 90 minutes onto your shit yeah oh it's awful use cardboard you can use cardboard and newspaper you'll get you'll get so much of it It'll, dug up and you're like oh i could just yank it out now and you're like never mind there's still yeah. 800 pounds of mud on this shit yeah. Like flatten out a cardboard box put that over the weeds that'll kill it enough and then it'll mm-hmm. the rain will make it uh, ground up and it'll turn into the dirt. Andrew and I but were- like, you don't even have to do that. You just use the mulch. Like, god damn. Like, and then oh, every if a weed does grow, pull it. Get down on your hands and knees and pull it. You yeah, fucking motherfucker. Him <laughs> and uh, him and Jack both having the the outdoor TV thing on the patio at mm-hmm. the same time. It's very funny because they're both like that is so they're both weird. examples of this like hyper two thousand American consumer yeah. culture. Yeah, like Wally. It's like this weird vision where you're like. I want to have a big plasma TV on my patio mm-hmm. and buy it with a credit card with high interest. Like, honestly, like a, a t- outside TVs kind of nice if you live in a nice area and like it's, you know, you can sit outside, you can have dinner and you're like, all right, yeah. sure. Cool. If you're like rich, rich and it comes with the house, it's like in like a bar by the pool. Like, OK, if you're rich enough to have like a winter house somewhere, have it there. But like you the reason you go outside shouldn't be to watch tv like your yeah. whole day that's the one like time you specifically go outside. installing it like having to say i need a tv outside and i need to go buy one and install it it's going to be like a two-day project because i need an outdoor tv mm-hmm. i can't even look at it on my phone that's not enough i will mm-hmm. say also though even nate's outdoor tv makes more sense because he consumes shows and movies all the yeah. time and he has a hot tub there Jack hung his above his fucking grills. Well, yeah, it's just something to make Tammy do. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I can't uh, wait till he has like seven TVs above all seven of his grills. Yeah, he's like the perfect American consumer who just loves like he, he is the picture of the, the hover round guy who just loves McDonald's and Coca-Cola and going to Walmart and just being really fat. And that's why that's why I vote for George Bush, because I like Walmart and being fat. Like he's the he's the one guy that that's actually true of. If I lived near Jack, I would I would buy a flipper. Those the tools that tool you can buy that just hacks like it opens garages and shit. Like oh randomly. yeah. But I would I would you could turn people's TVs on and off. I would turn his outdoor TV on and turn the volume all the way up every night. <laughs> yeah. Put it on BET. <laughs> <laughs> he keeps calling the police the and saying hell? they're black guys breaking in. <laughs> what were you about to say, Aaron? <laughs> Oh, the moments really passed for my joke, wow. but I was going to ask Chet oh, what his okay. favorite weed paper was. Get oh, it? ah, yes. Ah. Uh, I would have to go with uh, Raws. Raws. What's Unbleached. like? What's the? What's the one with a little sailor man on it? Um, um, 
Because I wanted to call him Jib Jabs, but I know that's obviously not it. <laughs> yeah, I'm what, smoking what on Jib Jabs. That? That's what you roll up in it. The like smoking classic rolling jab. paper that people like get hoodies zigzags. of when they're in zigzags. high school. Yeah, yeah zigzags, zigzags not Jib Jabs. Yeah, zigzags. Jib Jab is the classic song that yeah. you throw your friend's face on. Yeah, that's, I never use paper. That's what Ziggy Marley is short for. We, I remember trying to use papers in like high school and just not being able to roll it. And then bought, someone bought like, oh, this is like a joint roller. It's so it's going to be so easy. We're going to do it. And like it was yeah. still very difficult to use. And like, well, why don't we just smoke out of a bowl? Joint roller is like, so much easier now that you can just get a pen. Yeah, like that must that that eliminates the problem completely that I had when I was a teenager. Where mm-hmm. it's like like my mom is incredibly sensitive to smells. Mm-hmm. It's probably a, a spectrum thing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. If I'm being totally honest, <laughs> uh, but like any fucking thing in the, in the house, like she could instantly pick up on Same with my yeah. dad. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. So I could not any, like I couldn't even be in the room with it, mm-hmm. but now you could just, you could just hit the pen all day and no one would ever know. Unless you got the shit flavored one. Mm-hmm. Ooh, yeah. nice poop. Yeah. Yo, why do you smell like pink watermelon? <laughs> <laughs> would you guys, those of you that smoke weed often, would you take a, a pen that never ran out and it got you like decently high, like an eight out of ten every time you used it, but it tasted like uh art spray. But it was free hmm. for eternity. Nope. Um would you just get used to it? Can you detect it on my breath? It's basically like being a cigar smoker. Yeah, I guess that is a being a cigar smoker. It just tastes like I think poop. I would I would have it there. I think I would have it there. Like would it would I have this product? Like I I think I would have it in the room as a last option. Mm-hmm. I might not a use prank. it. <laughs> a prank, yeah. A prank pen. Yeah, as a prank might mm-hmm. be good. Like It's what I, you give teens that get caught smoking. You gotta hit this whole thing. <laughs> if it just tastes bad and it doesn't like make your breath bad or anything. Mm-hmm. If it's just a bad tasting hit. I don't think now like I'm remembering hit, fucking drunk old man like at a wedding cigar breath. When they come mm-hmm. back and they're like, hey, I love you, buddy. Mm-hmm. Cigar and whiskey oh, breath. And it smells like they're, <laughs> they're spitting on smells you. Smells like they're <laughs> sucking a salamander's dick. <laughs> so nasty, <laughs> musty. I hate cigars. I always will. Me, Me too. too. Yeah, they're nasty. Sick. I'm glad we all agree on that. People just take that tobacco and they throw it out. They might as well just sell them empty. I will say I don't mind like the cheap ones that people use for rollies and blunts and shit because like they smell good. Real the cigars Phillies, like, smell like ones. fucking shit. Yeah, dude. Yeah. When I turned 18. All my friends, like my my older brother had already been smoking for probably four years at that point, even though he was only 19. Mm-hmm. But I turned 18 so I could, I could purchase it. And we were going to a fair and I knew my brother and my other friends were going to walk around smoking cigarettes. And I didn't, I actually didn't smoke cigarettes for six more years until I was 24, which is funny. Because <laughs> famously I started smoking to get more breaks at work. Mm-hmm. A lot of people do. Even more ironic, I worked at a hospital. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's a perverse incentive. But I, I would buy the fucking watermelon philly blunts and puff on that Ooh. but it tasted good just for the tobacco i don't know what it was for man i was fucking more just a, just a just smoke. for the taste just a just a I, I just for something i probably took four puffs and then i'll just relight it and hold it to look cool yeah <laughs> yeah i just need to go to the gas station and spend four dollars and have something that makes my mouth dry <laughs> <laughs> that's what i need right now like I never really, I never bought a pack of cigarettes, but we did. I would buy like Black and Milds, and we would smoke those in my friend's car. Oh, gross! <laughs> so gross. A couple of years before I ever smoked cigarettes regularly, I, w- I was a uh, Jarum Black clove smoker, which mm-hmm. may be the worst. But I wasn't Oof. doing it for hipster reasons. I didn't even know that was a thing. Yeah, I just, I just liked taking like six puffs off one right when I get out of work, driving home, and then I would toss it, and then uh, I don't, I just like the aftertaste and stuff. Yeah, I always heard about people smoking cloves. Like, I think, like, women who are 54 now, they all had an ex-boyfriend who smoked cloves. Yeah, especially if they're, <laughs> they like, sort of just got into they went the culture. to shows a lot. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I never knew those guys. They smell no. good. Do you guys ever smoke Bally Highs? No. Bally Highs? No. Were, they were in, like, that Sky Blue Pack, and they were sold, like, next to the cloves. And they were, like, uh, I don't even know what flavor, but they were, like, sort of citrusy. My friend smoked Camel Crushes, like, exclusively. Uh, that's, what I, that's what I started smoking, so and I realized. That's, like, what I would smoke. Mm-hmm. That was one that girls would want outside of bars and shit the most. Yeah, because I only smoked if we were, like, drinking. My friends would, we'd be at a bar, like, a party or something, and, like, they would, like, all leave to go smoke. <laughs> and I was just like, well, fuck, like, well, I don't want to be here by myself. <laughs> crushes are fun, too. You get, to, you get to crush it at the end, and 
that get, that just gets you totally ripped. Does, but I'm pretty sure, like, I smoked it wrong, and I never really inhaled the smoke probably. ever. Well, it's probably good for you. Yeah, like I know. It's like, like, it's fine. I did the Bill Clinton thing, but with cigarettes. Because I remember vividly one time someone being like, I don't think you, you fucking aren't inhaling that. And I was like, yeah, what are you talking about? Do you know what like, I But I'm pretty man, sure that would I be sick <laughs> to have, like, a pack-a-day habit for 70 years, and it turns out you were just blowing out the <laughs> whole time. <laughs> Do you know what I... There's got to be some people like that. This is what I was saying is like a non-smoker. If I have kids, I won't be able to teach my kids how to smoke. True. Mm. Hey, you you got to start smoking. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I did. I teach you. They're like a, a, a distance runner. They're the greatest distance runner in the world. And they just have this horrible smoking habit. <laughs> and nobody can figure it out for years. Like you have the greatest lungs. I, maybe smoking's not so bad after all. And they're just blowing out. <laughs> my older brother's habits were funny. And my cigarette habits were kind of like his once I started smoking. He was like a something harsher in the morning like a, a red or a 27 and then it, like if it was like sunset on a friday and it's time to go out and shit he was smoked marlboro smooths it's so funny oh. <laughs> i used to smoke smooths, those smooths were something though that every now smooths and then nice. those hit so nice i remember one time i got really fucked up off grape smeared off ice while sledding and then somebody handed me a lit marlboro smooth it was maybe the coldest my mouth ever felt in a good way is an awesome. <laughs> There's something nice about that that I feel like I uh, missed out on, like all these all these spices and uh, all these exotic spices that have sent memories with people because of cigarettes. Alex, if you made a TikTok and just started trying different cigarette brands, you would have eight billion <laughs> views in like a month. <laughs> I refuse to do it. I would blow out. But I just I think maybe there should be like incense that people light. Ooh, I have an even oh, better man. idea. You can even have a theme. You can be the, the small sartorialist and always be wearing a different <laughs> little suit, a tailored suit and like a top hat and smoking yeah. like a, have one of those Victorian cigarette holders too, like Cruella. Yeah. If I did the same bit and just followed it, he would be looking around and I would like, every time he looks around, like I move to the other yeah, direction. Just keep hiding behind his me. back. <laughs> he sees two shadows, but when he moves again, the shadow is just one. He's like, huh? <laughs> Ding, 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 ding. Everyone's like, oh man, I love that little guy with you. <laughs> he's trying to turn around. He just we're gaslighting him into thinking he's schizophrenic. Because <laughs> everyone says there's a little guy and he can't see him. <laughs> it would be really mean to do that to the the big the sartorialist. Big sartor <laughs> to torture him with the small sartorialist. I sort of I, I imagine that he's just gallivanting around a public park all day. Like that's what he does. <laughs> he's actually cruising. I yeah, like he's just he, he walk, he, I had someone DM he's like me. an NPC who has a walk cycle around Central Park all day. I had someone DM me, uh, and they were like, "My friend and I always used to see this guy, and then my friend fucked him. Super nice dude. <laughs> That's cool. Wait, the yeah. big tutorialist is gay. <laughs> yeah, I know. Right? <laughs> <laughs> he looks good in the clothes, and he looks even better out of them. What city is he from? Boston, Boston right? Yeah. Boston. Yeah. Oh wow. That's he. He actually fits in where he hangs out. He's just in old mm -hmm. town all the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a really gay city. Yeah, he's he's walking around. His, Get out of here with your big boardwalk empire ass. <laughs> That's what I would tell him. <laughs> it's the racist gay city. <laughs> if you saw the big sartorialist in person, would you approach him and be like, "Hey, I like your work"? I absolutely. Would. I'd be like, "I've I've followed you on Instagram for four years, or on uh, Twitter for four years. I love you, man." I would be scared that I wasn't. I, I was just pointing out a different gay guy in a colored suit. <laughs> yeah. Are you the big sartorialist? Well, I'm not that big. Are you calling me fat? I am a sartorialist. That just reminded me of a, a story that that streamer E-Rob told earlier that I was fucking dying at. He had his own daughter at the pool last week, and there was a, a girl playing with his daughter for a long time, and her family was nearby. And he's like, you guys know I've been learning Chinese now for like seven months, and I thought her family was Chinese because I thought I heard them speaking it, even though I couldn't understand anything. So I said hello to the daughter in, in Chinese, and her and her mom in a in just an American accent says, "Oh, we're Korean." <laughs> so oh. that's it's such an era moment. It's so funny. If you were a Korean family, that would be a good bit, though. Absolutely. To just be speaking to know a couple Chinese phrases and be be overheard speaking Chinese to each other just to confuse people. Oh, that'd be really good. I, uh, no, we're Korean. I hope those. I hope that family went home and told everybody that funny story like it was a youtube prank yeah. that kind of happened to us a lot in japan especially in osaka because all right well after being there for fault. a while um <laughs> 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 come on 
uh, after being there for a while, you get so used to just saying like, Arigato gozaimasu, like, just like, thank you very much, basically. A polite way to say it to everything. And so we would like do something or like the people who worked at the hotel in Osaka and like would say, oh, Arigato gozaimasu. And then they'd be like, oh, well, I'm Chinese. And it's like, well, I like we I know. But like, is that rude there? Is that considered rude? No, but to- it was just like, why? Well, I, I like we know. I know you are like, but like, like, this no is what you like a, here. a person like- here, like a person here who doesn't speak English as there was like a, a tourist or something. If you say like, thank you, like that's not considered rude. Because you're just speaking they, like, the normal language. It out, and it's like, yeah, I know. This is what you do here. Like, I'm not trying to, like, I'm not, I don't think you're Japanese. It's just, that's, I'm saying thank you in the, nor- the language here. At, well, because, like, they or had tourists. people, they, uh, tourist workers, whatever. Like, you would just, if you, like, bumped into someone in semi MSN and they'd be like, uh, I'm, it's like, I'm not Japanese. You don't know the like, phrase. I, I don't know. Like, you don't yeah, know the exactly. phrase. Like, it's just, uh, yeah, that's so weird to me. That's, uh. To be like, yeah, don't say hello to me in the language where I'm where I'm visiting. No, I'm gonna react to it like like Nick Merckx. No, they're trying to set you up with that shit. Why do they got Chinese guys there? Because they want you to say it. They don't want you. Like to, I thought, they don't want you to I, be I doing felt, the right things. I felt it'd be weirder to like say it in English. <laughs> but in their defense, in their defense, I think Chinese people can go to Japan and do basically whatever they want. Well, they like do. if they want to be rude and spit everywhere. <laughs> Kind you kind of you kind of really you can't say anything to them no nope. after what they did oh well actually well most people in same Japan with koreans don't. <laughs> and they, we, i remember we were there seven years ago and we were we were talking to somebody and uh they were like oh and you know china they were this is a native japanese person like oh china they're probably just you know they're just always mad at us for no reason <laughs> the <laughs> masturbation like, of nanking they like, did well, it to themselves <laughs> hey you know I don't, I think there's a good reason why they might be mad. <laughs> I mean, that's what they call it in Japan. <laughs> that, I guess that's about as ignorant as like an American that that's like. Yeah. Oh, for sure. I don't know why they hate us so much over there. And yeah, pre- that's the, but, it, with an American, you can say that about almost any country. And that's why, I, like, I can't. It couldn't say anything. You can't do anything because it's just like, yeah, like, oh, that's they got that from us. Where you just like you don't you just never say sorry and you just brush every atrocity like under the rug and it doesn't matter. It's like a game of chicken where they're waiting for the British and the French and everyone else to be like, oh, we're sorry for killing all those millions of brown people creating our empire. Like, they're not going to do it, so Japan's not. Yeah. Why would they, in their mind? Yeah. Like, why should they be the first to do it? That's their thinking. The problem is they uh, pissed off China. <laughs> now China's really... <laughs> <laughs> they're a really big country, and they're right there. So you kind of... I would apologize. I would have apologized a while ago. <laughs> like, it might piss off some old people, but I would just say, you know, sorry about this stuff from the 40s, mm-hmm. all before of all of us were born. Sorry. Joe Biden and all of the other lib world leaders should get together and make a, a coalition. The, they the, should the, make a song. The We're Sorry organization, WSO. Yeah. <laughs> and they should sing a song about being sorry about all the atrocities. And then, and you have to forgive us. You have to forgive you us. You have to forgive That's the us. Thing. And if it, we did this, if you do forgive us and say that you forgive us forever, we will give you a school or a yep. hospital. <laughs> War. <laughs> Which, and they should have to get rid of the emperor. Mm-hmm. Like they don't have to kill him, but it should just become some guy. Well, it is, he is some guy, basically. It's the same yeah, as it's like, just the some, king like he doesn't even, queen. he barely even wears the, the, no. the thing anymore. He just wears a suit. A- he gives the lie to the whole thing. The Japanese sartorialist. <laughs> he just wears a, a bright green suit and goes around. No comment, because I think that the Queen of Bhutan could do whatever she wants. Okay. There you go. Uh, can I read a little excerpt of something for you guys? Yeah. Uh, this, is, this is a direct message I received at 11, 12 a.m. <laughs> <clears throat> From the bottom of my heart, I hope you burn in hell. You will get away with mocking depressed and suicide, suicidal people in life, but you will face justice and death. Threaten to rape me and my family all you want. It's only going to make the flames hotter. Every atom of your body that burns is going to make depressed and suicidal people feel good. Fuck you. <laughs> now, Tom, what did you do to deserve this? So, yeah, let's hear the context for that. So, the context, and you guys were theorizing, oh, maybe it's like some of these Melanie Mac guys messaging me on an altar or whatever. Um, uh, no. So... Because <laughs> I, I got that DM and I was like, whoa, what the fuck? <laughs> what did I do? <laughs> then, I mean, not really. Like, I was like, okay, it's probably somebody I've been retweeting. Or Why fuck me? just mad at me. <laughs> uh, but it's then Jamie Sweaty. I, I, I clicked on their, yeah, it could be. Uh, I clicked on their page and went to like their most recent tweets and like they had just paragraphs in reply to me. And it was a video of me 
uh, rolling around on the ground saying how I'm so smart. Wearing and Thanos everybody feels hat, bad for me. By the way. Wearing my Thanos hat. <laughs> Yeah, it's in response to like one of those 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 uh, hacky things that people say. Where like, how could you have kids in this yeah. world where there's there's a disease going around and there's poverty and it's like, oh, okay, like so don't do it. Yeah, don't you do don't it have then. to. What do you want? Like, what, you want acknowledgement that you're not going to do it? It's like, but so it's don't also do like it. the the world's never been good. <laughs> like, it yeah, always people had kids sucked. during the plague. It's like people have been saying that shit forever. Yeah, yeah, like. It's your choice. It's up to you. Like, fine. It was in response to me just kind of uh, teasing that lady. Yeah, saying like, you know, why do you, why do you have to announce it? What are you actually looking for? Because it's not like the way that the uh, that mock tack wishes it was, where like mm-hmm. a guy comes to your house and says, "Here's your wife and kid." Yeah, you're There's thirty no years old. Here is your wife and kid, and, and you, you can't get out of it. Like. You really have to go out of your way to have a kid. It's yeah. so much fucking work, you especially in America. Sex. <laughs> yeah, like if you like the default is not doing it. So just, you know, no mm-hmm. one's making you do it. So like, what do you actually want? What they want is someone to say, no, please have kids. We need you to reproduce. Your seed is so good or your yeah, eggs. Exactly. You are so smart. You're, You're a so guy, smart. A, a person on the Internet with depression. Well, let's let's make you You're the main one of the character. best people ever. You need to have kids. All these all, all all these bad people are having kids and you you need to have these kids that are going to change the world for good. When I saw that DM, I was like, man, that is one of the that I just know that person sitting there fucking shake. Their hands are shaking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's so funny because it's like the, the thing they think they're defending is like nothing matters. Everything. It's all pointless. Who even gives a fuck about yeah. life and death? It doesn't even matter. But then the, the second you say like, well, why do you have to say anything? Like if nothing matters, why do you have to yeah. open your fucking mouth at all? And then what they're like, expect? no, no, my fucking feelings are so <laughs> important. No, I'm going to fucking kill myself if you don't fucking be nice to me right now. I will defend this person and say that without any context of knowing Tom, they probably saw that video in the Marvel hat. And just imagine it's like it's like Peter from Peter and Kitch from Ordinary Adventures being doing the Caleb thing. You gonna cry? Is it upset you? Like some Disney adult. Them I would like, respect Wah. more. Peter and Kitra saying like we don't want kids because it would get in the way of our Disney vacation. Mm-hmm. Like that I would respect more yeah. than like so a awesome. guy just sitting on a pile of dirty clothes being mm-hmm. like, "Yeah, I'm not going to have kids with my wife that I don't have and my <laughs> my like money that I don't well, have." It was great because like, when you oh, guys shut the fuck up. Maybe it was like Melanie Mac guys. I was like, "No, because I went through their old tweets and they were just tweeting about Hasbin Hotel and how excited they were to watch it, which is yeah, like a fucking an animated adult cartoon. Show. It's about no, like who's a, making um, you hotel in hell. <laughs> Show's awesome. And, I'm, and I just imagine like uh, B Short or all those other guys like getting so upset because there's a TV show about a hotel in hell. Oh my so we God. can't watch that. See, no. I had no fucking idea what that was. I thought it was like the game where Chet got a girlfriend and she stole his furniture. It was Habbo Hotel. Habbo Hotel. Habbo yeah. Hotel. One of the different ha- hotels. Yeah. Not to be confused with Hotel Transylvania. Mm hmm. I, th- I I heard of uh, of that through Chaos Infinity. Now that I remember, it. has been yeah. hotel. I I it's just it just pops in online and like if you just look eventually when you just like overturn stones you undercover like uncover like these things like these shows fandoms. and everything and that's yeah the, all the fan fandoms. exactly you see yeah. all the fandoms adult and you're iPad like, that's kids and yeah. they have peanut butter on their fingers. But I mean I just love I love getting just the most deranged dms where this yeah. guy thinks like he's ruined my whole day and like i'm gonna be at home locked yeah. up and like calling to rape my family all you want oh, boss, you know the it's fuck like no man. i don't what, what did i do no, I why would i do to rape no, that's the whole thing it's like you don't <laughs> matter you don't matter that much like you're just not that important uh, as a person uh, just being like i'm depressed and i feel bad like you're not worth like going after your family i'm just gonna ignore you because i don't want to like at the end of the day, that's that's what you are. You're just one of a million people being like, "Yeah, I'm a white male and I have depression." It fuck it, like shut up. That's I like close window. I just you. I, I didn't like. I was reading that and I was like, okay, yeah, normal stuff. You're gonna burn in hell. Like I hate you, blah blah blah. And then it was like threatening to rape me and my family all you want. It's like, well, I don't want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> this is a good segue though. If you're a white male that has depression, make sure to head over to BetterHelp.com. <laughs> promo code WFYM when signing up because. 
uh, we know it's hard help. out there and like they're they're expensive and it's hard to make mm-hmm. time. And so uh, please talk to a guy wearing a thing. So <laughs> help. Six com. Beers deep. If you're a white male out there with depression, uh, OK, help. We're actually sponsored by OK, <laughs> help. dot com. Not like, it's not great. <laughs> it's not. We're not, sponsored yeah. by the dark web. One thing that's funny about the Internet is how people. First of all, it's not it's nothing new, especially online, but people letting oh, their. Yeah mental illness become their identity but especially mm-hmm. i have depression like who doesn't especially yeah. now like who doesn't like, have some, yeah. but then if you're the one guy that's like i don't have depression people are like kill yourself <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah the way kids are now like I, I think we've all probably experienced that like being a like having depression and being like in a, a forum or something or like a support group or something like that and once it becomes about everyone just like venting their suicidal ideation no one wants to be there anymore that's why i can't be in any support groups for pain like if if we had to make the conversation about that guy who messaged tom feeling suicidally depressed like no one would log on to that website ever again if that's what we were talking like i'm sorry i would just i would not open that app ever again if it was having to talk to that guy when i first saw that or like also i thought maybe when you got that dm that uh Maybe it's one of those people that listen and think that podcast hosts are sending secret messages, but we haven't yeah. sent any secret messages in like two or three weeks now, and the next yeah, cycle doesn't begin for so four months. Well, someone on vacation. Yeah. yeah. Well, I guess now that I'm back, maybe he was like, oh, he's back. All right. <laughs> yeah. I thought that too. Like, I thought it was like, uh, oh, uh, obviously I'm sending like Ray's uh into his house that make his like penis itch. You sent but, Ray into his house? <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> but uh, the Asian like, guy? No, again. The... Kai's friend? Kai's no, it's just friend. like. This was just a normal seemingly guy who just was like tweeting about stuff and then all of a sudden just lost his mind at me and talked about how I was going to burn in hell. And then his account got suspended and I didn't even report him or do anything. Let's get him fired from being his mom's good helper. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, you're just when those people send me death threats, it's just like, oh, you've just made my day. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I love it. I wish I could just like put a tab of LSD under their tongue. <laughs> I wish I could give them a, like a bottle of water. Like, yeah, give them some water, give them like LSD or MDMA or something like that. And we'll just talk it through. Mm-hmm. We'll see who you're mad at. We'll get rid of the Bible. We'll just, we'll figure it out. We'll figure, are you mad at your parents? Like are a, you bowl, mad at- a bowl of carrots and celery and like a, a big, cup of water and like let's just let's reset our body here for a second brother what does what's, god what's represent to you what are you so upset about what does the the figure of god represent to you is it your father is it your mother we'll get to the bottom of it this looming shadow in the cave i guess it is a good point that michael brought up that like just seeing me in the wild with a Thanos hat, probably just makes so many yeah, people so mad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a, yeah. Just be, seeing you, just like getting a your your rage meter going to the top, like the thermometer just bursting. This I will fucking, say, I did put it on to do that just because I thought people yeah, because they think they think you're like a Funko Pop guy or something. But the thing is, like, if if you were a, if you were an unironic Thanos hat guy, like those people don't even know about the concept of depression. Yeah. Like, if you said like people don't want to have kids because they're depressed, you would be like, those people are like, wait, why would you? Huh? But well, there, you can just but buy there are new there's, Marvel movies coming yeah, there's, out. There's there's new Marvel hats you can buy. Which yeah, there's a like a, there's even more stuff at the store than there was last year. So yeah. why would you? There's more stuff to buy. Tom had that hat on where he was he was taking his daughter for a spin in the stroller around the block, and he's wearing that. He was wearing one of the t-shirts with the built-in earbuds, and then he was wearing those <laughs> black and purple Osiris shoes with the tongue pulled out with no laces. You know what hat I Yo, really I'm want? I'm basically the Thanos of my AirPods, because I always lose one. <laughs> I, want the bl- <laughs> I want the Bluetooth speaker hat that has, like, two speakers under the brim, and you can play music <laughs> from your that's, hat. That's so Just awesome. Like, yeah. Out loud, directly into your face. That's, that's my dream hat. I would like 20 things on my phone connected to Bluetooth. Absolutely. Makes it run fast. That thin cotton hoodie that had the built-in earbuds or earbuds uh, is so fucking funny still. I, like, I want the backpack. <laughs> the backpack that you can like pull the hoodie, like the headphones through, and then like when you oh rip it off, God, like, it just, just rips out of your ears. You just reminded <laughs> me of the one of the most annoying kids ever that had one of those. <laughs> yeah. Like how, how often do you need to have your headphones out? It's just not even, it's not even convenient. Like Tom no. said, yeah. you're fucking, 
You set your bag down, start walking away for a second for good. Goes, yeah. ah. <laughs> As a kid, you always had to take your headphones out. Yeah. Yeah. I was never allowed to have them in. Yeah. Ex- except when I got old enough where I didn't give a fuck. Yeah. I had a backpack. Fuck authority. The same yeah. backpack for like 10 years. <laughs> My mom was like, no, it's fine. Yeah. Once you get a good one, like a. Yeah, a real heavy duty one, not like mm-hmm. a Walmart twenty dollar one. Like yeah, a, like a, a, a nice Jansport, like a one. hiking backpack. Those la- those will last like twenty years. I always laugh remembering my short stints in public schools between houses when uh, I I would have friends that were no backpack, no coat kids, but not because they didn't uh. have it. They were just fucking like bad kids. <laughs> just yeah, whipping Fuck their you, mom dropping their homework just in the bushes on the way home. <laughs> <laughs> they come home, they put it in a shredder. <laughs> Throw it out, or that's the classic one, throwing it out in the, the barrel on the side of their garage. <laughs> throwing it out of the window in the bus. <laughs> just yes. seeing it for, I, I remember classic. doing that, not with like the homework that I was supposed to do, but just like old papers and shit. Being like nine and like with the other bad kids on the back of the bus, just being like, yo, what if I put some shit out the window? <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't that be crazy? And it's like something that I, that has my name on it. Like <laughs> if someone actually found it. <laughs> 10 years ago, there were kids. That were in the back of a bus, and it was the kind of with like the sliding top part of the window, and they were sh- they shot at my car with an airsoft gun. Damn, Jesus Damn. Christ! And it was like it was my old piece of shit Subaru, and nothing happened. Mm-hmm. It just went. But I you knew should they have ran them off I, the road. I saw it. I didn't even tell. I didn't even like tell the school or anything. I'm like, those kids are dumb as fuck. But you know what? Yeah, those kids are like. There's no way if they're stupid enough to bring a fucking airsoft gun onto the school bus and like yeah. bring that to like they're they're probably suspended the next week for yeah. something yeah. else. That's literally how I felt. I didn't I didn't want to fucking deal with it. I didn't want to like look up mm-hmm. what school it was and call it. I was just like dumbasses. <laughs> it's gonna <laughs> happen. Like, they're probably in jail. <laughs> I also right had now. a fucking that was the car where I'd roll around with fucking one headlight out for the entire summer while having a half smoked weed bowl in my console, like just visible. <laughs> you were like Jacob Dylan, dude. Yeah. I was just I was just riding around. You were a total wallflower. Yeah. Perks of being a wall. That's what I said mock tech books are going to be called. I did that in my car that I actually had here that died. But in Akron, I would just ride around with one headlight out. And I worked in Fairlawn. And I would just Dude, like, have to, like quickly cross over the border because the Fairlawn cops had nothing better to do. <laughs> and they would keep pulling me over. <laughs> and I'd be like, I'm, gonna, I'm changing. I got the, I can't get it open. Because like you actually had to go through inside the car on like this Ford. Like you couldn't just pop out. Like, so it was such a pain in the ass. And but I was like, I'm not taking it to a shop just to change a light. I don't give a fuck. Mine, mine was like that too, where you kind of had to take it out and it was a, a, it was a pain in the ass. But I got pulled over one time, but I was a fucking super genius. And I had mm. the bulb in my car. So I can always say, just bought it. <laughs> yeah. just bought it. And I, it I had the bulb in yeah. my car. Cause I'm I on the way it. from AutoZone. What are they going to say? I bought it thinking I could yeah. change it. And then I couldn't. And I was like, well, I'm just not going to do it. <laughs> yeah. Or it's a two pack. So you always have one. I did finally fix it. And then a week later it was my birthday and I was leaving work at like midnight, speeding to the bar to go hang out with coworkers and got pulled over for speeding, even though I had two headlights now and I was pissed. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. That's fucked up. And it was on my birthday, but the cop was basically just like, yeah, just go to court, and I won't. Is that cool? And I'm like, yep. <laughs> Thanks, officer. And Thanks he didn't for the show chore. Up. And I'm, I've been pulled over by that same guy twice. This is in my mom's town, and he hasn't come to court either time. And you always know if he's gonna be there or not because he's six foot ten. <laughs> he probably just can't fit through the door. No, maybe. That's true. He just he can't fit in because the hitbox is he too big. He probably actually couldn't fit inside that courtroom because you got to walk down these stairs to go to the basement for the circuit court there. You can win every case against that cop forever. Yep. I'm doing the donuts murder. in front of his car, shooting at him. <laughs> get, get arrested for murder, and he can't go? <laughs> yeah, you murder, his, you murder his partner in front of him, but he can't even attend, so the fucking case is thrown out. He can't fit. Yeah, he's just, he's waiting outside of the courtroom, just weeping. <laughs> him standing next the to the second the story window. Not guilty. <laughs> he's next to the second story window, just looking in like a giraffe. Yeah, I love yeah. this. This is our Law and Order episode of writing. <laughs> oh, wow. I really like the this. The cop who was too tall. Yep. Too tall cop. <laughs> Officer such cool and such. new character. <laughs> the too tall cop of Pennsylvania. All, every, everyone loves TTC. <laughs> TTC. The too tall cop. And I heard he's leftist. He's actually leftist. <laughs> Guys, you should have played ball. You're tall as hell. Working old... <laughs> We're working old tweets into the dialogue. People love that. He's big for no reason. That's right. Mm, love it. Well, All right. Well, go to the live show. 
Yep. June 16th. You're probably already there. Yeah, probably. You're probably listening to this while we're doing the live show. So, uh, take out your fucking headphones, piece of shit. Yeah, take out your fucking headphones. You're fucking talking. I know, they're, I know they're looped through your stupid <laughs> fucking backpack <laughs> that you wore into the venue. <laughs> you stupid motherfucker. Shit, if you are you listening, kids watching. are chewing on your fucking to this hoodie podcast strings. right now, bring me a beer. <laughs> <laughs> that works. <laughs> Alright, see ya. Bye. Good night, everybody. Bye.